right. So, hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here. Um, we've been learning all the starter beginner chords that we want to be able to have down so we can play, you know, millions of our favorite songs. I've waited long enough to, to show you the F chord. We've built up, hopefully, some of our skills to get to this uh, chord here. Um, some people complain about it, but it's just like anything. You don't want to avoid it. You just got to play it. it. Sounds a little crappy at first, and then you play it again, and it starts to sound better. Uh, so remember, you know, to still be patient with yourself. Um, and thank you for the support. You can always check the links here for the other uh, relevant videos that are related. And uh, we're pretty much almost out of uh, all the chords we need. So that is good news for us. Yay, us. Um, so anyway, we'll zoom in and I'll show you the F chord. Here we go. All right, so the F chord is one of these critical pieces that I've been holding off on because a lot of people complain about the F chord. It's really not that bad. You just have to play it. If you avoid it, and then all of a sudden it's time to play it, you've been avoiding it, so it's still hard, it still sounds bad. You gotta spend the time to make it sound bad first before it sounds good. So, I like learning the F from the perspective of the C chord, because they're kind of both little staircase looking shapes. So here's my C chord, right? We learned that. So we're going to transition this C chord into an F chord now. So what we're going to do is pinky, we got to use our pinky now, pinky time, third fret of the D string from the C chord. Then middle finger is going to scoot back to the second fret of the G. And that's kind of a weird shape. It's using, you know, all four fingers to do it. And that, but I like that. And then the other thing about it, if you can, if uh, the high E string is ringing out with that chord like this, it's, you know, kind of airy and almost like a pretty sound. That'd be called F major seven. And that's not what we always want. And for right now, if we can, um, just from your index finger and maybe your palm, to just let that be muted out. Now, the other thing is if the open E rings out with that chord, even when I did that, it sounded totally off, right? So if that's in there, obviously it doesn't sound very good. What I'm doing, and I'm not even thinking about it, is my thumb is just kind of up here muting it out. Now eventually your thumb can actually wrap and hit this note because that's the root. And then there's another way to play it where what we would learn as a bar chord, where you're not going to have to worry about that. But we're not ready for bar chords in this kind of progression that we're at right now. So we can kind of think of our, our ring finger on the third of the A string, just like we used it as our locator for the C chord, we can also use it for the locator of the F chord, and we kind of want to think for F, the ring finger, and pinky. And then the next thing that's great to practice would be uh, as you're learning the F, practice the F and C, switching those, because the ring and index finger are on the same frets for both chords.
right, the famous F chord. It's really not as bad as people make it out to be sometimes. Uh, anyway, thanks for hanging out, and I uh, really appreciate your support. Uh, be sure to check the links for the other videos that are part of this little uh, beginner series here. And uh, we'll see you in another video real soon. See you later.